Since the dawn of capitalism, companies have always sought a competitive advantage. From factories to capital to talent, if I haven't and you don't, I win. Every competitive advantage until today has always benefited the company, has benefited the customer, but has never benefited the employee, the person and people who are responsible for creating all this value. Which is why I'm here to tell you today that culture is the only sustainable competitive advantage. To understand this, we have to actually go back and do a quick history of competitive advantage. Let's start with machines. If I have a sewing machine and you don't, then I win. I can create that product. But as soon as you get a sewing machine, that advantage is no longer mine. So I have to actually string my machines together into a, perhaps an assembly line, some sort of system. And you get a system. And then I design my system better than yours. And then all of a sudden, you're sneaking around the corner looking to see if you can steal my system. And here today, as we have intellectual property, that is the systems of tomorrow that we're thinking about, we're suing each other. But the problem is as soon as you sue someone, it takes such a long time that the next amazing idea has already beat you. So we have to hire the talent. The talent is the thing that's going to help us create the next amazing idea. But I bet you know that talent, even here in the Bay Area, is fickle and can be stolen. Culture is the cause and effect of every decision that we make. Let me tell you a quick story about a venerable Bay Area brand. Raise your hand if you've ever had a cup of Blue Bottle coffee. These are Blue Bottle's three cultural values, experience, deliciousness, and hospitality. And in the mid-2000s, when they were looking to scale, according to the coffee playbook, they began to sell their beans in bulk to cafes around the Bay Area and across California. But there was a problem. That coffee sucked. It was terrible. And leadership and some of the leading employees said, hey, if it's about deliciousness, we should stop selling. We should actually cut short-term revenue by 50% in order to actually deliver on this. And you know what? That short-term cut was actually a long-term advantage in that they were just acquired by Nestle not too long ago. I hope the coffee still continues to not suck. You can see here that it's the business that provides the employees with the tools, with the culture, to actually make great decisions for the customers. And of course, the customer is going to come back to the business and provide that value to the bottom line. It's culture that enables this to happen. It's how we make our decisions. It's how we interact with one another. Culture is the only sustainable competitive advantage that actually benefits not only the business, not only the customer, but the people who actually create the value, the employees. Best of all, unlike talent and unlike IP, it can't be stolen and can't be copied. Culture is yours and yours alone. Since the dawn of time, companies have always sought a competitive advantage and I hope that you can understand that the way we get started is actually two things. One, purpose. Why? Why are you in business beyond making money? We've heard about it a little bit tonight. Why should I join your organization? Two, values. That's our how. How are we actually going to achieve that purpose? How? Guide me. Help me make good decisions so that I can support our business. Culture is what you should be investing in. Culture is the only sustainable competitive advantage that you have. Thank you.